world of tanks we're on the nintendo switch this is a free to play game and we have a lot of in-depth details to go over in regards to this release so this is world of tanks blitz this is their mobile and or lower end pc model option for the game it's uh, basically a more streamlined iteration of the title and, and that works well for it and particularly to get it on the nintendo switch so i am a bit of a, a veteran for context i've uh, played on xbox 360 initially then xbox one playstation 4 and the pc version and also the mobile version of world of tanks so you know i've, I've got quite a history and i'd say a bit of a knowledge uh with this series and what it does uh, provide gameplay wise so this is like mentioned a free-to-play game about tanks and you know kind of increasing and you know building up your tanks to be stronger and more powerful over time and there's a bit of a weight game and the gold system to get through that a little bit quicker if you don't want to deal with the the research weight and the you know the cost of coins just so you are aware of those elements of microtransactions that are present but you know it is a free to play i don't think they're too bad but it can take a while once you get up to the higher tiers so the game is sort of uh, balanced out between these different tiers of tanks you can have like these are all high class tanks but you know when you start out you've got like smaller tanks and you got to kind of build your way up that's the gist of the game. So this is a cross-platform title, so that means it does have uh, cross-play enabled. You can disable that if you just want to play with other Switch users. Uh, there's also the gyro support for this sniper scoping only during the sniper aiming, but I have turned that off because I'm not a fan of it, sorry. But that option is there for those that do care about that aspect, and I really miss like that. Come on, get him purpley tank. So, yeah, I was given access to check out, like, you know, the higher tier tanks and show off gameplay that looks a little bit more spectacular with these options. Am I getting shot in the back? Oh, yeah, they are coming fiercely from behind. I'm going to try to get out of here. And uh, with that, uh, you know, kind of having that cross-play option, I think that's great for basically increasing the community options for play in the player pool. So that's nice to see. Uh, on the Switch, there are a couple of specifications resolution-wise. So you're getting 720p 30fps when it is undocked, and it has light uh, touch control options, which I thought was kind of cool. Uh, just kind of a neat little thing in regards to you know movement when you are out on the go if you are able to connect to the internet but anyways uh, when it is docked it is 1080p 30 fps just so you are aware of the actual resolution details and this comes from the company directly uh, it does seem to run fairly well i have noticed like some stutters here or there uh, maybe little bits of performance drops but uh, nothing too bad, but something that, you know, I, I have noticed. And maybe that's due to the internet connection, but I, I think it is more of a, a performance type thing. But still, in, in general, you know, it runs fairly smoothly. It looks decent enough. I mean, it's not as pretty as the, the other versions of World of Tanks that I've seen. But I mean, it's the Nintendo Switch, so, you know, it, it, it is what it is. And I think this was a good choice for porting it over in regards to adding that, you know, that cross-play, cross platform matchmaking and stuff. I think that's important for the longevity of the experience. Come on. Okay. A. Oh no. Those are my things if I'm on fire and stuff. Oh no. And we'll continue this on in another match so we can show off more gameplay. So account wise, you can bring over your existing wargaming.net account. Uh, you can also set up a Nintendo online account and you can also connect the two together. So I think that's kind of interesting gameplay wise uh it's, it's fairly small file size too it's about three gigs just under at launch i thought that might be worth noting so this is a game that features uh over 350 unique and exclusive combat vehicles that have these uh fairly detailed 3d models that represent the you know various tank options from many of the factions and countries across the world that were involved in the war so i think that's kind of neat uh semi-destructible environments there's some things you can kind of like smash into, blow up, cars, stuff like that. So kind of like semi-destructible environments, a, a fairly good push towards realism in regards to the movement of your tanks and your actual positioning for how they work. Sorry, it's just like these Joy-Cons are so awful sometimes. <laughs> like just the worst controller inputs. Uh, I'm sorry, probably get docked for saying that to people, but that's just how I feel about them. They're so awkward sometimes. So these are 7x7 battles with uh, over 
well, you battle in over 25 different arenas. There's different modes that kind of mix things up. This is like the primary mode that I'm playing right now, where it's a bit of a, a base capture and or destroy option where you're battling others. I've been trying to, like, I'll, I'll switch up tanks each match we get into just so I can show off a bunch of different options. Trying to capture this, it's not working well for me. I'm kind of a little bit better at, like, faster paced tanks. Uh, pretty low health at this point. So hopefully they don't get over here too quickly. Just trying to capture the position, which is a little bit hard. So, you know, you move through these high tiers of research, you're adjusting various parts of your tanks, and then moving up to a higher level of tank. And, you know, there's there's a lot going on in the game. I, I think, you know, they've got a, a wealth of content that's been available, cosmetic options too, if you want to go up that route. I just didn't dive into that. And we'll have to show off another match here, because I got blasted away. My team was, like, not pushing very well, but that's because we're a little bit more limited on tanks, I guess. Look at them just storming by here. Pretty cool designs, eh? At least I think so. Great, so we're in another match here on another map. There is also platoons, which are like clan, you know, type options. Well, there's clan member options. And, uh, you know, that kind of extends the experience if you do want to play with others. Is that a plane that just crashed in the background there? Jeez, that is kind of cool. <laughs> But yeah, you know, I think it's kind of a neat experience. On the Switch, you also get an exclusive avatar and an exclusive uh, camel. So that's kind of neat, too, on top of that, for jumping in on this platform, uh, if you have access to it and the game itself or whatever. But yeah, I, I think as a free-to-play offering, it's pretty good. You know, I, I think really it is the best tank game out there. They really nail the, the looks of the tanks, the models the gameplay design where, you know, it, it kind of is sort of realistic and sort of strategic just in regards to handling your tanks and, and being smart about, you know, moving out there, the fact that you can get your tracks disabled. Wow, that was a little heartbreaking because there's like five tanks there. And out of all of my friends, I'm the one that get gets immobilized and destroyed right away. Yep, just my luck. So yeah, this doesn't require Nintendo Switch Online, I guess I should have mentioned that earlier, but anyways, let's keep going on and diving into the game. We've got a different tank here, a Russian one with a little bit of a, a decorative sort of magma type skin on it, just to show off what that's like. Sure was nice of them to give me a little account so that I could, uh, you know, kind of show off different elements of the experience. And hopefully I won't die right away in this one, but yeah, it's, it's a game of kind of strategy. You know, you can sit back and play it you know, kind of shooting from a distance, making the right choices, and hopefully surviving, you know, longer. But I'm trying to get a little bit more intense in this one so that I can show off more action-packed gameplay, which isn't necessarily the best for the survival of my tank. But yeah, it's a, it's a neat game. It's one where there's lots of different tank options, obviously, as we mentioned, hundreds. And then I, I think it's something that has had its content developed for it over a long period of time. And that's going to really benefit Switch owners that are jumping into this. Maybe for the first time, or coming into it from another platform. And I think that's kind of cool. It, it really is that, that ultimate tank experience, where you just get so many different models, so many customization options, and you can just play it over and over again. It's really fast-paced, you know, the matches, they don't take forever. And once your tank this game is done, you can get your tank again and go into the action, or you can switch up to another tank. I think that's kind of neat. They've got a lot of the mechanics, everything's pulled over here. It's a very easy going, easy to understand and intuitive uh, option in regards to the UI, UI and how it works and moves. And it's great that you can experience this, you know, in a, a docked or an undocked version. And it, it doesn't look horrible on the uh, the 4K screen here. It, it's actually pretty decent, the, the tank models and some of the structures in the environment. It's just the, the world is, is, is very flat looking on the ground. You know, not really any density there. And uh, that's just the, the cost of getting this version of it running here, you know? There we go. Uh, I think I'm screwed here. Unless that other teammate kind of gets over there and takes a little bit of damage. Oh, going the wrong way. Sorry, we were going backwards because the front end's there. But yeah, I, I think they really did deliver on getting this port over here, providing a, a lot of action, a lot of different ways to play it. And why did they... Oh, man. Oh, it looks like you got that guy. At least I helped a little bit, I think. That's disappointing. We'll jump into another match, though. 
you do get a lot of rewards for playing too, for completing like missions and challenges. And they have fun events throughout the year as well, if you weren't aware of that, they get a little bit silly. And I think that's part of the charm of the series, is the fact that, you know, they do keep developing it, and they've been developing it for a very, very long time. And, you know, this, this series has grown quite a bit over the years. And I'm actually really looking forward to the uh, the next gen versions too. Of this not not of Blitz, but of the core game to see what they turn out there, because you know it's really known for the authenticity in regards to the vehicles and the environments. And I think they've really kind of pushed that along here, even in this Blitz version. You know, so many different types of locations, sunny places, cold spots, uh, deserts, uh, city towns. You just get so many different environments to battle with and I think that's kind of cool and they're always adding new stuff and trying new things with the game getting new kinds of tanks that you can experience and it's, it's generally quite fun I mean it can be fast you, you can die quickly and there, there's quite a bit of strategy in regards to it you might have to deal with the well, PC players unless you turn that off but I've got it on here because I want to really show off the full crossplay uh, experience of this one Ooh, looks like we're actually getting the base nice but yeah, I think they've streamlined this very well. It was a good choice to put this particular version of it on the Switch. And while I would have maybe been curious to see what the other you know versions could have been like if they pushed those on here, uh, I think this was kind of the right choice on this one in regards to the action and the style of gameplay that's present. It's it's a fun series, you know. I, I definitely think it's worth taking a look at if you've maybe never seen it before you might have fun with it because it is you know it's a free-to-play game it offers a lot of unique content and tactical ways to play and cause mayhem you know there's all kinds of different options for destruction oh, i really botched that up you know whether you're shooting the turrets causing damage to the treads setting a fire to other tanks you can even ram other tanks we could try that right here i think there's a couple of you know, enemy factions left. We can actually see if that works here. It's not very smart, but it's kind of fun to do. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a little bit silly. Usually you get more momentum off a hill. I probably just doomed myself here, kind of running in there like that, but eh, it's fun. I also like how there's this slow anticipation of kind of like waiting for your tank to uh, basically reload and stuff and it's sort of really fun and you can get different like options too for like ammunition and that if you are you know working through those trees oh man it's gonna be so close oh, I think we actually got them there is there someone else left oh yeah they're up there and I've got I haven't the the tank health to really go in you know right away but maybe we can uh, shoot over yonder no not happening but yeah it's a fun game. Uh, I think it's definitely worth checking out. We might show off one more match after. Actually, no, we got a, we got another guy to take over there. I thought we had everybody. Sorry, part of the, the screen at the top there is a little bit cut off, so it's hard to see how many enemies are left, but ooh, that's not good. Yeah, I haven't the health for that one, but it was nice to, to help out with the team. Oh, it looks like we finished the battle and we actually won there. That's great. So yeah, I thought we'd show off just one more level to fully give, you know, enough gameplay context in case those want to see a little bit more of this in action. But we've, we've really gone over the details of, of what this provides, you know, tons of tanks, lots of different areas to battle on, strategic play, a free-to-play offering, uh, bring your account over, cross-platform, uh, no need for Nintendo Switch Online, and just lots of intense tank-based action and destruction is here going on along taking on others through very unique environments i like this one it's very highly dense in regards to the, the city structuring and yeah it, it's, it's cool to see this available on this platform i really had no idea that it was actually coming out and i just kind of got the email in and i was like hey you want to check this out i was like yep sure definitely and like we got a cool press account for you i'm like awesome and that's how it kind of goes. Oh wow, I'm getting absolutely blasted by two of them there. But it is really cool how you can kind of aim strategically, hit those spots on the tanks, and cause lots of extra damage 
uh, to vehicles, you know, you can take out those treads and immobilize them like you've seen done to me a couple times. Or you can just kind of blast under the turret. It, it leaves a lot of room for creativity in regards to how you, uh, you know, eliminate your opponents, how you kind of survive and work together. Or do a little bit of lone wolfing too, which I guess is an option, but it doesn't work too well when you've got multiple, you know, enemy tank factions kind of rolling up on you. It, it's definitely a bit of a bit of a thing. But you know, varied environments to battle on. Lots of different options for play. Different modes. An expanding and growing form of content, and I think this is a, a good upgrade for you know the, the series to be on this platform. I did not want to get stuck here. This is a bad area, but that is World of Tanks Blitz on the Nintendo Switch. Kaboom!